it's gonna be a little bit windy out here it is going to be a little bit windy out here so bear with me i'm gonna have to speak loud into the camera tired of not being able to know how to pronounce it you feel me reading is a fundamental i need to hold on there it is there it is there it is that ungrateful shield there you go again complaining what your name is i don't know but i I'm not doing my shit. No, better come to house. No, what you think this shit's for? Nothing. You not working. You. What much do you want? Also listen to Professor Sam Vaitnin, whatever is V A K N I N. Fuck no, V A V A K. Eyes over, bro. Can't can't spell or pronounce. But his name is Professor Sam. Vic Nin. and some of the topic, you know, he said himself, not self proclaimed He actually got his degree. Um, got his degree as a what is it called? A physics. He's a physics, and I listen to him from time to time talking about the consciousness. And he doesn't believe in consciousness. He doesn't believe in the mind because it's not something that you can. Um, steady so he said psychology is not science very good very good yo it's very very windy out here yo look at this bag that shit is flu got the fuck out of here that shit is deep deep that wind must be blowing yo that shit flu that nigga still in the scops Surprised it didn't melt yet. So he said psychology is not science, which is news to me. Um, Cause science is something that is um is based on is is the observation of the known universe. So if psychology has to deal with the mind and consciousness and everything, psychology is based on what the test subject like myself if somebody was to want to steady me my mind and the way I think I'm assuming or the person is assuming that I'm going to be open and honest with him basically saying the things that I'm going to say how am I supposed to know how he's he supposed to know that I'm being honest in my assessment of how my mind is you feel me this is why psychology is not science because even with the narcissist and everything else like that, I said the only way to kill a narcissist is to have an honest narcissist. But a narcissist is known as a pathological liar. So that's why I said a study of narcissists is not complete. It's never going to be complete. Because we don't know how to study the mind or the consciousness 
of a human being. It was the joke out here. is being blown away. Uh, this is gonna be a cartoon. So he does not believe in God neither. Cause it's not something that you can study. These are the things that I gotta, I don't know, I'll be asking God, why did you send me his way? I still gotta find the answer to these things, to the reason why I gotta study these things. It's obvious I need the studying of this. Feel me? Um, it is also obvious that you can listen to something and it seems to disagree with your whole universe. Then you have to continue listening to it to get the whole lesson, not just partial lesson like these other people do. When they hear something that they like, they tell you, Listen, 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 because it plays to the, the narrative. But when there's something that, play, that plays against their narrative, they act delusional and disregarded. I'm like, these niggas is fucking hypocrites. Exactly what I, I knew. We, we, they were who we thought they were, you feel me? When it plays into their agenda, they tell you to listen. I'm like, I'm listening. I'm not you. I'm listening. I want to be wrong. I said that several times. I want to be wrong. I want to learn something new. You feel me? I'm a student. I always say that. I am a student. I always want to learn something new. I want to be embarrassed about the things that I said so I can be wrong. I want to pour my cup out. That being said, it's very, very important, like I've said in the past, that be careful of what you take in because it's much harder to pour your cup out it's much harder to restart your mind after things that you've learned already. It's very, very hard. Pouring your cup out actually takes a miracle. Because when you're learning something new, it fights with what you already have learned. So your mind, well, he doesn't even believe in mind. So the things that you've learned, right, is fighting with the new things. It's, it's, it's like, a, a, a what is it called, a congestion? It's contradictory. It's contradictory. Of what you already know. So you going back and forth in your mind like, damn, I thought it was this. That you, you got to contem contemplate on which one is which. And you're doing the research and you're like, damn, that also makes sense. You feel me? So I'm going back and forth with it, learning new things and everything else like that. But one thing for sure and two things for certain, man. You cannot disregard how people treat you. Even if you believe in God or you don't believe in God. Most of these people celebrate death. You see, the way you treat others is how you feel, is how you see that person. Like he said too. He said that people see each other as objects. So they treat each other like objects. You feel me? So that cannot be dispute. Let the wind pass. There used to be these niggas making noise and not the wind is hating. Mother Nature, what's up with you? You feel me? People will treat you how they see you. So they treat sex like an object. That's why they do that one hookup thing. That's why they will have they will have sex in spite of you. They will have sex just to shit on me. Like me, Jeff. Like me, me, myself. Like they will they <laughs> they'll place a girl in your path to make it seem as if you in I let it pass.
Let it pass. You know how we do, man. We tell the truth out here. They'll place a girl in your path to make it seem as if you're interested in her. Almost want you to bother her because she, she consistent in her, the way she wants to approach you. Remember, I dealt with this in New York, too. Just so they can go hook up with the girl, degrade her. You feel me? Treat her like an object. She treat herself like an object. Just to make it seem like she's nothing. You was chasing a hoe. What? First of all, these girls are playing into this character and this role too. So you telling yourself that the fact that I see you as something, you are degrading yourself with somebody else. Just to prove to me that, oh, you chasing a hoe? You see, that shit don't even make sense. <laughs> it does not, like, they try, to, they try to play me so bad that these girls are willing to play these roles just to show you that, oh, look at you, you thirsty for a girl who is, you thirsty for me, but look at me, I'm having sex with this nigga and I'm not giving it to you. So which meaning that you was a hoe and I'm chasing something that is not worth being chased. That's what you're telling me to yourself. And the guy is also treating her as an object, which is a reflection of himself, de uh, not de degrading himself by by even sleeping with an object that's not worth nothing. You feel me? I was, I was just looking at the definition of an object. I forgot already. An object is something, a person, or a thing. Damn, I forgot. Hold on, bear with me. Fucking when? Hold on, how many more minutes I got? My head talking my shit. I got 10 minutes with you. You got time. So an object, that's what we treat each other as now. An object, that's what they can treat you. They can just treat you like trash. It's a thing, right? Hold on. Let's get that right first. That's so they can treat you however they want to treat you. They can organize people to attack you. Because they treat they see you as an object. They see themselves as an object. That's because they, they conduct themselves in that kind of thing. A personal thing to which a specific action or feeling is directed. You feel me? Say something to express one disapproval. As a verb, say something to express one's disapproval of or disagreement with something. Now, what well, that's more like a I object. That's the verb part of it. We're talking about the noun. The noun, a material thing that can be seen or touched. You feel me? The best description, in my opinion, would be a person or a thing to which a specific action or feeling is directed. So, you are being treated like an object. That's why they can do the things that they do because they see each other as an object. Here you are. Describing yourself, you, you see yourself more than an object. You can't, I cannot. I see myself more than an object, of course. You guys hold yourself to a high regard. How can I be an object? An object, I'm not, an object is not a person. You feel me? That's another per. that's another human. You feel me? You gotta treat that person valuable. This is not something that you just, it's not just, it's not a can. I'm not a cup. I'm not something that you can just pick up and put it here or just throw against the wall and think I will not break. I have emotions, I have feelings, I have, I have an attachment, you feel me? You feel me? People are so scared to be hurt that they're willing to be an object. <laughs> You feel me? Because they, they, they don't want to have that attach, attachment no more. They're so scared to want to even hear the truth. They still punish me for that whole thing about um, that whole Spanish kill. The Latin, Latin came from Africa and everything else like that. They still mad at me for that. I'm like, damn, that's crazy. Why do you think they always say the, word, the, uh, the origin came from the Latin word? That means the Latin language is that old. It can't have came from Spain. I'm sorry. It's something that was transferred from Africa. Is that it came from the Latin word or the Greek word? If it, the Egyptians traveled to Greek to give the Greeks some form of knowledge, then how are we tracking languages back to Greek and Latin when the Egyptians surpassed these languages and the Egyptians had their own languages? You feel me? They cut off what the the attachment to what the Greek language came from, they cut that part off. You feel me? And then a, th a few thousand years from now, they're gonna be like, it came from the English word. 
No, it can't be. Like, because the English word is, it's not even a language. It's something that was made up from other languages. And that's Latin and Greek. It was made up of other African languages. So it cannot be significant for us to, to bring it back to its origin. The English language is not even worth an origin. That's all I'm trying to say. Anyway, I'm going to go away, man. It's too windy. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Hold on, man. This shit is crazy. Oh, no. Don't do it. And else like that hit home. So, hold on. So you have uh, people that is treating each other like objects, placing things. You feel me? They treat you like a tree. They can mob. They can organize mob people around you. you feel me? Treating you like an object. You just nothing. They don't treat you like a human. You seen as an object, so there's no feeling attached to it. You've been degraded to an object, so it's justification in the action that is performed against you. It makes it much more easier for you to consume the act of injustice when you're doing it to that person because you see that person as an object. You degrade yourself to an object so when you do something to somebody, the feeling and the emotion and the compassion, even compassion is seen as a word that's weakness. Compassion. <laughs> so it's like, so, so you can tell that they are treating people like an object. That's what I'm learning. I don't know what they're learning from this. They treat you like a car. Even they, they treat their car better than they treat you. You go kick the car and see how they react. But when they kick somebody else and they beat somebody else, see how they react that they think it's funny. But if I go and kick that person's car, they take it personal. Why? Because it's, an, it's an object with an insurance. It has some significance to it because there's money attached to it. You understand what's going on now? These people can't think of you no more than an object itself. You understand? So they cannot see you as something that is worth human. They don't see themselves as human. They don't see no significance, something worth, worth, worth having. They, they, see this, they see themselves as filth. So they treat, each, they treat each other and others as the object that they are. You feel me? Think of it as an object. Think of it as a car. Think of it as a flag. Think of it as anything that you can touch. Feel me? Although you can touch me too, I am more than an object. I am respect. You feel me? I am value. You feel me? So I treat others like that. You feel me? How do you treat somebody else when you see them as an object? You tend to destroy objects. You tend to you mis misplace. An object has no soul in it. So to them, you can kill an object. Because if you treat something like an object, then that means there's no attachment to it. It's soulless. You feel me? So they tricking their mind. This is this is sickness 101. You see, if the world, if if everybody in the world is insane and you are the same one, then you look insane. You feel me? Even sane and insane is something that's agreeable upon cultures and upon society. Anyway, so if everybody in the world is insane and you're the only one that think differently, then you will look you will look like you the one that's insane itself. So they they, they, they might tell you, listen, you, you should listen to that. Da, da, da. So how do we know which one is sane and which one is insane? Well, we know which we, we, I know if I punch you in your face, you wouldn't like that. I know that for a fact. Just like when you punch me in my face and I'm telling you I don't like that. You feel me? But they want to disregard these things and tell you what is insane and what is not sane. Nigga, we know these things. We know what pain is. We know what feel good is. We know we know what a good family is. We know we know these things intuitively. Like even if he doesn't believe in God, we know what it feels to feel good. We know this thing. Like I said, if I punch you in your face, you're not gonna like it. So I know not to do that to somebody else because I know it wouldn't feel good to me. I wouldn't want the same treatment to me. That's the insane and insane part. The insane and insane part of it. We know that part. But to 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 dumb the society down to justify getting the target, they have to treat you like an object placed on the target where they aim at you. It justify the act. It makes them feel good. It takes away the guilt of what they're doing. Right, let the wind pass.
Pass by Mr. Wind. 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 That's why they got to treat you like an object. Because intuitively, inside, within them, they know what they're doing is wrong. But to psych themselves out, they have to do this. They have to redefine who you are. They have to, even to redefine who I am, they have to redefine who they are too. So if they define themselves as an object, that's why they treat sex like the way it is. That's why the world is at a population where people are having too many kids. There's too many kids, my nigga. The reason why there's too many kids, there's no family structure. So we are just hooking up and having kids however we want to have kids. There's no responsibility for the next person because guess what? It's just an object. We're treating these kids as an object. When the kids come into the world, we, we're looking at them and seeing, okay, what can I use this object for? Oh, maybe I can put it on this shelf. Oh, no, maybe I can hang this kid right here. And by the way, I just did a video called Noose Word Spreads. Noose Word Press. Now, the noose is the twisting. You know how you twist a twist rope? That's a noose. So, the twisting of your word in public. That's what they're doing now. You might say something on social media, they take clips of it and they twist the story around just to form their own narratives. So, it's more like the lynching of today because they, instead of killing you, they hung you in public and you you be judged by the public and they degrade you in a public spectrum and that's a new form of noosing you feel me that's why i use the word news word press so anybody else that was thinking oh is, is he scared or no i'm not i'm never scared fuck is you talking about but it's, i can use any word i want to i just i mean I, it's kind of sad that i had to explain myself you feel me but it's a, a, a WordPress is a newsletter, a news company that put out uh, news out there. So what they do is that even though you didn't say something, they don't, they're not looking at the whole content as a whole. What they do is that they take clips of what you say. Oh, that's the trip. They take clips of what you say and they put it up and be like, this is what he meant. But he said that though, but that's not all you said. You feel me? They just cutting up, they're cutting it up into pieces and just putting it out there. That's how they're twisting your words just to just to hurt you. But back to like that helicopter, that's an object right there. So they use you. They they might use you just to get from point A to point B as an object for the moment for the me for the time moment. You feel me? There's no there's no love in it. You feel me? There's, there's no, it's just we treating each other like an object. And when you say these things, they wanna argue you down. They like, he doesn't, he still does not get it. Who, no, nigga. I'm speaking clear English. If you don't, if you don't get the fact that you gotta treat somebody like a human being, and you still gotta disregard what I'm saying, you think you can treat somebody like an object, then guess what? This message is for you then. Because they have to treat you like an object. They treat their kids like an object. They treat their family like an object. They treat themselves like an object. Because the only way you can treat somebody like that to feel good about what you're doing is that you believe that you're an object too. You feel me? They treat, they treat, they treat niggas like you a tape. Like just to f let me fill up this hole right here, this insecurity. So this is the tape. Jeff is the tape that I can use to plaster this insecurity. An object. You feel me? They refuse to take up the internal stuff, so they gotta use you as a, a, a filler to fill in a gap that doesn't even fill for too long. Then they gotta get somebody else to fill in that gap, and they use you as a tape just to tape up a gap that they know that they need to they need to take care of themselves internally. You feel me? They're treating us like an object. That's what's going on. It's not that you the object. It's just that they see themselves as an object, so they're projecting who they are upon you. It's a sickness upon them. You judge people by the things that they do, not what they do to you. You feel me? Just, you feel, but I gotta go. You feel me? It is what it is. But they're gonna try to twist my words around again. Noose world spread. You know how that shit go. One.